different tribes of Kenya live similar yet different lives. Their geography determined their livelihood, which in my view impacts every tribe's social status. The Bombers of Kenya also highlights the hierarchy of society we still see today in different communities, even outside Kenya. It traces back where and how we inherited the patriarchal society we see today. So the pattern is the same for the more than 40 tribes. It's the husband, the wives and children. So now I'm outside the husband's hut, which is bigger than the other one over there, and the other one which is the first, second and the third wife on the other side. Um, and I thought about what role would I would love to play if I live at that time. And I figured, actually I would have wanted to be the third wife. She was probably younger and her house is smaller and so it means probably no children and more solitude. You're only with the husband when you need him. Who knows? But yeah, if I were to choose, I'd probably be the third wife because the smaller house um, and I, like I said, you spend more time on your own than with other human beings, which is a thing for me. <laughs> so I'm inside a hut and this is the husband's hut. So you will have seen the first, second and third wife's hearts and they all go by size. The first wife has the biggest one, but the husband has an even bigger hat. So, so I even think about whether if I lived in the times where the first, second and third wife were to live with her husband in the same homestead, if I would have survived that kind of setup, being who I am today. And um, I, I'm, I don't know how much of who we are is influenced by the times we live in, but I suppose to a certain extent it does. But I'm thinking of it from different points of view, whether as a whether I would have wanted to be a husband or pressured to be a husband then, or as a child of the first, the third, or the first wife, how would I have turned out? So I suppose the times you live in do make you who you become to the society you live in. So I guess, you know, monogamy was never really possible. So this is how patriarchy got to win and only men could have more than one sex partner first second wife i mean clearly that that's part of the reason but i think it's something that has come to be accepted and it's also something that's being preserved as culture and history um but you know being here looking at it and thinking about whether we have we would we would have survived or i would have survived living here or in this kind of environment or at that time but it's interesting to know how we evolved or how we don't evolve actually either for it depends how you look at it but there's clearly more to see let's go see some more so now this is the son's hat you know, I'm yet to find the daughter's hat so some kind of experimenting with other roles that I would play I'll probably be a problematic son because I'll be that son that brings other boys home. So I'm not sure if even if the hat is big enough for more than one person, but I'll be a problematic son. This place is good for reflection. It's not different from the tribes of South Africa where I come from. Just like from the Bible, we choose only what works from our traditions and customs because we want to believe that we evolve. I'm Matima Masachi in Nairobi, Kenya.